Buckle up, Fairfield Rep. Today is Monday, May 23rd, and we're here live in the Berkman Storage Studios with your lead anchors, Patrick Odino and Gabe Aponte. This is the Monday Report. So, Mr. Marshall sends me the first draft of his Spanish workbook. Oh. And it's like one or two lines. It's like a line and a half. Is it? Yeah, and I'm like, you need more than that. It's a whole workbook. So then he wrote another 200 pages. But he was going to go with just the one line. Is this a new workbook? No, it's a Mastering Spanish Grammar, or Mastering Spanish Verbs. So you were alive when you wrote that? I was, yep. Mm. I was, and he sent it to me because he's like, oh, I just you know, wanted a professional opinion on it, and I gave it to him, and sure enough. You're a professional in Spanish. I mean, he called me a professional. I don't claim to be one, but uh -huh. he had enough faith in me that I could do a little editing, so yeah, I helped him out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Monday Report. Uh, let's get started uh, with some miscellaneous news. Uh, this is the last week for seniors here at PrEP. The class of 2016 will be all done as of this Thursday. Uh, there is a little bit of controversy over that, though, because they were supposed to be here on Thursday for just a check-in day, but it's now a full day where they have to go to every class, so they will have to finish a sixteenth of a percent of their prep career. Also, we're getting word now that the senior prank is supposed to be... Alright, um, Gabe, talk about student government elections. Well, <laughs> before we get to student government elections, we're going to go off with the spring concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week. Sure. <laughs> it was a great evening filled with new school uh, fusion, and mm -hmm. we had performances from the Jesuits and the Encores and more. That's true. Uh, it was outstanding performances. Our hats off to Mrs. Evans and all the prep musicians. And there was even a rotating drum. Yeah, they did this really cool thing. I'm not even going to explain it. I'm just going to play the clip because it was outstanding and I want you to experience it too. So here it is. Student government elections were held last Tuesday during the homeroom. Students voted on the best representatives for their class. So congratulations to Bobby Haskins, Jack Cavanaugh, J.P. Haley, Kevin Gallagher, and Jem St. Jean, who will represent the incoming senior class of 2016. Junior prom was last Saturday. A little bit of a mix-up. The email they sent said it was going to be 2014, mm -hmm. but actually it was, in fact, this year. Uh, the food was pretty good, and there were a lot of sounds and a few words, which I... I'm told was music. Is that what that was? Yeah, I, uh, apparently. Mm -hmm. There were some complications, but overall it was a very fun time for the juniors. Complications, you say? Complications. Alright, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, there was also a trip to the UN last week. The recycling club took a trip to the United Nations building. Wait a minute, that's, that's not. It wasn't. No. Oh, I got it. The modeled United Nations club took a trip to the United Nations building. One student described it as just a building. That's it? Nothing else? I mean, I guess that's all they had to say. Well, on campus ministry news, the New York City trip for all the students involved in campus ministry 
was last Friday. They left at 8.30 and came back around 3, and they saw St. Patrick's Cathedral and a few other sites, and it was a way of the Mr. Galtieri and Mr. Father Stockdale for saying thank you to all these student leaders. Yes, and from us, thank you to all the student leaders. Now we'd like to get started with a little sport report. Baseball had two big wins last week, the first being against Daniel Han on the 16th, 7-5, and then they shut out Brantford on the 20th, 5-zip. Uh, they're making these last two games count before the playoffs. Lacrosse also had three big wins last week. They beat ND West Haven, 13-4, Daniel Han, 10-6, and Bell Barton, 7-6. So uh, they're continuing their outstanding season. That's right. Uh, in crew news, Sam Cause's boat came in fourth. No, Sam Cause's fourth varsity boat came in first. I mean, I got to tell you, that's confusing. Uh, another <laughs> just continues the undefeated season for Sammy Cause, and Sammy Cause says that he can't wait for next year to continue his domination on the water, which is also the name of his memoir. Now we'd like to turn it over to Today in Prep History. As for the rugby team, the white rugby team beat Simsbury 36-33 on Saturday. This was actually the semifinals, and now they will advance to the state finals this Saturday at Ludlow. Yes. Another great week for prep sports. Yes, and our scrolling is a little out of whack today, but now I'd like to turn it over to this week's edition of Today in Prep History with our very own Colin O. McCornfield. Colin, take it away. Welcome to Today in Prep History. Right now, I'm by the parking lot with the founder of Rams. Today's topic, 1984. A major event in the spring of 1984 was the Software Service Day in the form of the Special Olympics. It was held on Wednesday, March 14th at the Fairfield University Fieldhouse. Around 100 handicapped children from the greater Bridgeport area were brought to prep for the occasion. Each child was teamed up with a prep student who guided the youngster through a series of competitions and special activities. The whole event was very moving and uplifting and made as big an impression on the prep sophomores as it, as it did on the great youngsters who participated in the day. Here at the purport, and, and the school as a whole, we like to recognize talent. talent. There are some students here mm -hmm. who just have a natural born God given gift. And we'd like to take this time to celebrate that gift in one of our students. One of our freshmen this year has an uncanny ability to come up with the room number of a certain teacher given only the teacher's name. That's it. Just a, just a name? Just the name. Wow. Yes, not even the subject, nice. not even the floor, can come up with the room number like that off the top of his head with no information whatsoever. And we'd like to turn it over to Colin McDoorstop with uh, a new game we like to call Room Number Trivia. Colin, take it away. Hello, I'm Senior Drew Gardella, and I'm here with Colin O'Bickpen, here to talk about room names. Now, Colin, I'm under the impression that you know a lot of teachers' rooms. That's correct. That is correct. Well, I have a list here that I'm going to just run down. Uh, yeah. So let's just start. So you know how the game works, right? Yeah, you just like list off the room numbers of the... No, 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 I give you the teacher's names, you give the room numbers. Oh, yeah. Or do you want to do vice versa? Uh, for no, a no, challenge. No, no, no. Uh, let's just do the format. Let's do the format. I don't stick, care. Stick to the program? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Maritz. Uh, which one? There's like... R. B401. Correct. Altieri. B402. Correct. Maritz. J. X207. Correct. Carrie. X203. Jackson. X101. Reedy. X103. Dennis. B102. Cashman. B103. Miller. B104. Sacadoti. B105. Chadbro. B203. Sather. B204. J. B205. Hey, Dan, you know all of them. You know all of them. That has been our program. Back to regular scheduled people. I mean, he was just on SNL. Who is it? The. Since we both know it, let's say at the same time. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. James Lipton. James Lipton. Yep. <laughs> that was a little bit delayed. I, I know. Like I think 
I think we were on the same. You know what it is? It's be, see how are you we're. Sure, are you sure you know? I do, but you see how we're in like different like planes here. We're on slightly different time zones. So you said that slightly <laughs> ahead of me because you're in a different time zone. Are you sure we're in a different time zone? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. What both? time do you have? What time? What second is it right now? It is thirty-seven. No, see, it's thirty-eight over here. So <laughs> I'm a little, uh, little delayed. Are you sure you just didn't say that a second after I said it? I could have been it. Could have been it. Uh, let's get into some sports news here. Baseball has two games this week, both against Cheshire. One's today. One's tomorrow. Good luck, and be sure to make these last few games count. Cross has a game against Daniel Hand tomorrow, and the spring sports are winding down. Yeah, they're coming to a quick close. And miscellaneous news, senior prom is this Friday at the Trumbull Marriott. It's just like junior prom, just nicer and more expensive. And that is all. So thank you for watching, everybody, and a special thanks to Fairfield Prep's Hammer Club. You guys nailed it. So thank you for watching. Check us out on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and remember... It's not just, just news. Okay. Well, Pat, what are you doing? Come on. Um, you say it every single time, and I never get right? a chance to say it's not just news. I know, but I say it every single time, so. Well, I should get a chance sometimes, Pat. But I want to say it because it's my thing. I say it. It every, shouldn't be your thing. But it is. This my is a thing. collective show. Right. So Me I and say you it. share. Right. Collective. So I say it every week. No, that's not how collective works. Collective works is that we both have the same opportunities and you're taking all the opportunities to say that line and it's a fantastic line i think i should be the one saying it well you know what i won't stand for that so you know what pat i'm done with this are you okay are you leaving yep taking my microphone and all i'm getting out here you can have fun doing this show okay. by yourself all right well you know what <laughs> i want to hear my microphone no, too how are we gonna hear goodbye me? <laughs> what is going on <laughs> Come back. It's just news.